Hello, class. I'm going to cover homework number eight. Make sure that you understand what you were doing. The first question was um, to create a hash table with chaining for the binary representation of two mirror patterns. We were given a text, which I will just do some of the initial part of that text. I gave you the index for that text also. And that would be CCGTAG. CCTTAG. TAC. And um, you had to create a binary representation, representation for two mare patterns. That means that we want to represent our nucleotides as binary values. If you remember with the hash table, you're basically turning your data into an index in your hash table, and you're turning your index into your data. So we want to turn our nucleotides into our indexes. And we can do that by representing them as binary numbers. So for example, you could represent your A as 0, 0, T is 0, 1, C is 1, 0, and G is 1, 1. I asked for you to represent two mare patterns. So if we have a choice of four nucleotides in the pattern with a length of two, then we have 16, then we have 16 possible two mare patterns. And to turn a two mare pattern into a binary number, you just extend, um, you just apply the values in the key. So A was 0, 0, so A, A would be 0, 0, 0, 0. And for example, A, T would be 0, 0, because that's A, and 0, 1, because that's T. A, C would be 0, 0, and 1, 0, and A, G would be 0, 0, 1, 1. So those are four binary representations of four different two mare nucleotides. We're going to have a total of 16. So your hash table should have a size of 16. And um, something to remember is that when you have an array, you usually don't set the index. The index exists, right? It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, assuming that it starts with an index of 0. So you want, to, you want to make sure that your nucleotides stay in the order of the index of an array since they are representing the index of an array. So in your zero index, you're going to apply the binary that represents zero and the nucleotide that coincides with that. The next index would be the binary that coincides with 1, and then the nucleotide that applies to that, and so on and so forth. And you would do this for all 16. The next thing you want to do is to find where these patterns exist inside of your text or your string of nucleotides. So then once you have the hash table filled out, 
with all the two mares, it's really easy to check to see where that two mare pattern exists or it, if it does exist. So here we have a two mare pattern of AA and you would skim through your text. Our text is longer than represented there. So in our text of nucleotides, there is no AA. So um, it doesn't point to anything right now. The next one is AT, so we check our, our text. And there is an occurrence of AT that starts at index 18 in our text. So we enter the value of 18. So here the index of our text becomes the content of our hash table. And then uh, say the next one, AC, we look for occurrences of AC in our text. There is one at index 8. And then the next one um, would be AG. And we look, there's one at index 5. And there's also one at index 13. And there's also one at 23. So this is how we do the chaining. And then you continue on and make sure that you have all the values in order. And uh, they're associated indexes from the text. Then when you're given a pattern, and in our homework problem, we were given uh, our pattern was TA. But I'm going to show you, for example, if we were given um, AG, since we have that in the sample here. Uh, instead of having to search through all your text to find it, you just need to search through 16 um, at most. Or you could actually, since it's the index, you just go right to it. The index of this is 3. So you go right to 3. And here you're given the locations of the occurrence of AG. And this is just, I just missed a letter in here. Oh, I know, I started the index at 1 for this text. That was inconsistent of me. But that's why this is 5 and this starts at 5. And so this would be an example of an answer if your pattern was P an explanation of how to make your hash table with two mare patterns.